record uh, at UK. First time in his nine years at UK that uh, has been over the 500 mark. He was at, uh, at one point in the 2016 season, two games in, were 12 and 26. Uh, since then, 39 wins, 24 losses. Uh, thank you, Tony. Um, I'd like to first uh, recognize uh, the Heroes Day today before I get into talking about the game, but just, um, you know, today, 9-11, just greatly appreciate all the folks that are on the front line uh, that work their tail off for us uh, day in and day out. So thank you. Um, also like to recognize the, the stadium and the fans. And I thought it was a wonderful, it was just an awesome atmosphere. It's been a while. Uh, since we had an atmosphere like that, and thank you. We need it. Uh, our players deserve it. You can tell they work extremely hard. It's my job to get it a little cleaner. Uh, we'll do that. You know, we have to finish off people, you know, much better. We had an opportunity at the end of the first half to really take full control. Um, that didn't happen. But I was absolutely pleased with the way we started the, the, the second half. You talk about the middle eight, we had a chance to really put a, put a knife in them, let them off the hook. They put the dagger in us with the late you know, touchdown at the end of the first half. And we come back, they get the ball, we get an interception and go right down and score. Big, big part of the game. Really appreciate our players facing that adversity that happened at the end of the first half and once again responding. And so uh, I thought we did so many good things. Um, it's a shame uh, that, uh, you know, that it, that it had to be so close, you know, but because we had opportunities to pull away. And we have to clean that up. We got to get better, and we will. Um, you know, once again, there's no, no excuse for fumbling the ball on the, on the six-inch line, no excuse to get a field goal block, you know. Well, I would have liked to have gone for it there, but if we make the extra point, or, you know, make the uh, field goal, you know, essentially ice the game. And uh, it's been a while since uh, we had one blocked, I believe. So uh, you got to get that fixed. But uh, proud of our team and our coaches. They did so many good things. You saw that. It was very evident today. Uh, we were uh, challenged our team to be excited to play. They were. I uh, felt like we were extremely physical. Um, once again, we had an opportunity to do. You know, we, we, we had some really good drives there. And uh, defensively, uh, they had us on our heels. Give them credit. They did a lot of good things. You know, with, uh, with Connor at quarterback, they, they keep you off balance. And they did a nice job. But we rose up and made some stops when we had to. So overall, great team victory. Um, we'll enjoy it tonight and get back to work and try to get 3-0 and next week. Mark, I know there's some stuff you want to clean up. What does it say about your program if you make those kind of mistakes? And still be quality yeah, I think that says a lot because you know you you saw you saw spurts out there tonight where we were, we were, we did some real we were pretty good, and uh, you know I, I just got to get some things ironed out. I mean we we just got to get a better you know killer instinct. You know when we have an opportunity to to uh, ice it and you know like I said I don't want to single out any one guy, but some of the some of those things are just really pissing me off. You know we can't fumble the football. There's no excuse for that, and uh, got a chance to really put a put a fork in them. You know what I mean, and and can't do it. Is the Is that the same quality? The answer at the start of the second half to what you did? Well, I think you know, starting the second half, we challenged them because it's easy to lose momentum right there, because you feel like you're in total control, and uh, and it gets flipped on you in what in a minute and fifty six, and uh, and so. Uh, for us to respond like we did in the second half, the first possession says a lot. I mean, we were we knew. I mean, we were here for for a game. I mean, we knew that. You know, you know, you're playing a quality opponent. You know, you better strap it on for four quarters. And uh, you know, we were prepared for that, and that's what we did. You know, one of, that was one of the last things I said to him walking out before the game started, was absolutely because we were excited to play, and we went up 14. I was like, be prepared for a four quarter game. Play that. JJ but laid there at the end to help put the game away. See what he did. Um, did he take the sack? I, 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 did he get? Did he get it? I don't. Know. Oh, that that. I didn't know. I didn't know who got it. We overloaded that that side. Uh, he probably came scot free with the pressure we had. So I can't give him too much credit for beating somebody on that. 
yeah. So we we we, call, we called we called the overload, you know, there, and uh, it was a nice call by Brad, and uh, we, that was a big play. It felt like there were a couple. Of, they were getting the aggravating yards, aggravating yards, but y'all did time up your shots on the what was on the third down. We what? On, on the two stops, you, you did time up the. the we we did. We got some. We we were having a hard time. Um, you know, they were just. It was aggravating yards. It was. They were keeping us off balance. So some of those guys are they're big. They got some big receivers. We got to get up and and challenge them, you know, better and and uh, and not give them such you know easy throws. And then uh, Brad started mixing it up. We started you know rolling and and clouding certain things and not giving them such clean looks, and uh, that helped. Yeah. Well. You know, it's just, you know, th there was a couple reads in there. And uh, that was just a, a scheme and, a, and a, a play that we had the ability to read it. And, uh, you know, I thought he did a nice job of pulling it there late and during that, that long drive we were having towards the end of the game. He, he doesn't seem like he wants to slide. What does that just kind of yeah. say about him? That he's well, well, I saw him at halftime icing up his shoulder, so he better he better learn to slide a little bit because we're going to play some, play some more big boys here. But uh, but he's a tough kid. You can see he's put together. You know, he, he works out extremely hard, and he's a tough guy, and he made some tough yards. And you know what? Your team and your fan base kind of rally around guys like that, you know, that, that get some tough yards when you need them. Mark, what's the about the missed yardage in the run game last week that you all left out there? How much was that a focus? Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking here, and, and you know, we we rushed for 340 yards. That's uh, that's pretty impressive, and uh, you know, um, there was a lot more passes called. You saw that he pulled it down and scrambled some. He, um, I don't know how many sacks he had, but with uh, when you look at it and you look at you know opportunities, we called a lot more than that, and uh, he scrambled quite a bit, and and. Uh, and so on, but uh, you know, the only time we went in total grind mode was the end of that first half, and we we were moving the ball. It was crazy not to. And uh, you know, again, you heard me talk about it last week. If I could borrow it from Hayden again, you know, scratch where it itches. You know, why take them off the hook if they can't? If they weren't going to stop it, why stop? And we drove it straight down the field and should have, you know, killed clock. And again, had a great chance to ice it. You know, not ice it, but get a big lead there. Connor was good. I mean, so poised. The guy's so smart, and yet he was able to kind of get outside on you all the time. Why? Why was it so difficult to contain him? Well, it's it's aggravating. You know, that's um, a couple times we had three man rushes. That that maybe you could understand. There was several times we had spies on him. You know, we had guys injured, and again, I'm not making an excuse, but we had some critical guys that couldn't play late, and that are um, more experienced at some of the things we were doing, and. Um, and we got to get that better. We got to we got to do a better job. There are certain times um, where the the spy you know should have been all over them. There are certain times when games you know got to come around and and uh, you know I have to see it all. Um, but there was a combination of things. Especially his toughness. I mean, just you know, you can't say enough good <laughs> things about him. Really, just uh, just you know, so tough. Um, Take shots, just bounces back up, makes you know the the long pass he had uh, that he that that was a you know both you know two two long passes were critical uh, that he hauled in um, today that weren't easy catches you know those are those are difference makers you've heard me talk about it in here for a long time you know you got to have some guys that could that could make some big time plays and uh, it's nice to have them on our team. I I could I cannot at all understand why you know wasn't I, I need an explanation I will not be giving you that explanation I like I don't want to spend that money on that you know so I won't tell you but I can tell you they're going to say he didn't hit him in the head what you so. about how this come along because there for a good stretch you guys were running the ball so well we're really leaning on that but in that second half when you guys had some third and longs still able Move the sticks when in years past that really hadn't been the case. Yeah, it's true. I mean, we we you know we were effective in the pass game early on in the in the first half. When I looked at the, the stats in at halftime, it was 
it was you know something was whatever it was five and nine or something to that effect obviously again he pulled quite a few down in when he was they were covered you you knew they were playing an aggressive style I told you that so you know going into the game and, and there were times when they they did cover us up and he had to pull it down and escape and he ran for some positive yards at times and that that was good um, and uh, but yes it, it is nice to have that ability and that balance to be able to throw the ball because you all look for more turnovers on defense. Do you need to do something schematically there, or do you need more individual plays like the one Jock West made that he just uh, out? It, it'll happen. I mean, you know, listen, like last year we were so far plus that when you look at the – the experts, they're like, there's no way they're going to have that many again. Just your, you know what I mean? Like sometimes it bounces your way, sometimes it doesn't. You know, I mean, we, we do the same thing. I mean, so we were incredible last year. You know what I mean? So we got to make some plays. I mean, we had one right in our hands. You know, again, we got the opportunity to ice the game. I mean, tell me how to teach them to catch that. You know, we'll do it. <laughs> well, I, I tell you, um, I didn't like the the fumble because I felt like um, th there were other things on his mind prior to crossing that goal line. And but you know Chris and I know Chris and he came back and he will be a beast and he'll play hard and I have all the confidence in him. But that doesn't mean we're not going to correct him, you know. And and he will. He'll get it fixed and he bounced back and he knows he knows better. Mark, how do you think that the team tackled? Uh, I thought we missed way too many um, play tackles in the flats. And again, when you hear me talk all these years, when do you miss tackles? When you're out of position. You know, and that's when you miss tackles. When we tackle great, we have a bunch of guys in really good position. Now, some people stretch out, and you know what I mean, and that's part of it. And they got really good players, and make you miss in the in the flats, and that's going to happen. I mean, how many times do we make people miss too? You know, it's it, it's part of it. But again, it's a team defense. When you have guys in great position, you tend to not miss as many tackles. Getting a lot of separation on the deep routes. Is, is that a quick first step? Is it precise route running? What is about it about? Yeah, he's very. Uh, uh, knowledgeable and and you know he's he's uh, he's hard to get hands on, you know he has that ability to um, make himself skinny and not give his chest up and you know get off some press, and that we need that that was a huge play that was third down if I'm not mistaken that long one he caught there and I mean we we've just missed that you know what I mean and and Will threw it a tad under but he couldn't miss that throw. You know what I mean? He couldn't go for the perfection right there because he had him beat so bad. You had to convert. So that's why once in a while those are maybe a, you'd rather have him a yard under thrown because you're still going to convert it than just trying to hit him right in stride. You know what I mean? You just can't miss. You can't overthrow that. And so that was the same with uh, Josh when we talked about it last week. You know, he was smart to underthrow that by one yard. It was still a touchdown. You overthrow it, it's incomplete. Obviously, none of it matters without the skill, but when you talk about the way Will runs, the way Rodriguez runs, the way Wandell pops up after taking that shot and he's waving to the crowd, jumping up and down, how much does attitude play into sort of play a factor for you guys when you have a group of guys that have that sort of, well, uh, I think you'd say, junkyard dog kind of mentality? Well, that's it's the first thing we talk about in our program. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and tell you uh, the, the four – pillars of our program are this that I don't talk about pillars but I talk about attitude toughness discipline and pride and and attitudes the number one thing we talk about so you better have an attitude or you're not going to play here so I love seeing it I love the way he um, you know I love their their effort you know and and again uh, it was my job to it's my job to get them ready each and every week and uh, and they certainly responded today they were ready to play Maybe a little over anxious at times, but we'll we'll find that we'll find that right slot. Our best football is in front of us. Mark, it seems like the only time we mention Chris is due to the fumbles. I mean, he did pretty good otherwise. Do you think that's maybe a sign that we yeah. we take him for granted too much? Yeah, you're right. He had what 206 yards. <laughs> yeah, I guess he got that fixed. But I, I I mean that's those are the type of kids we have in our program. You know, they they understand and. Uh, it's 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 not about any of us in 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 you know any individual you know it's for for the greater cause and you know he understands that and hey we lean on him we need him 
and uh, you know, late in the game there, he needed a breath, and I was like, we need you, man. We need you. Come on, horse. Come on. And, and luckily, there was a TV timeout. I think they had somebody hurt. And, uh, Mark, did y'all do anything to approach uh, what Beatty was getting done, running to the right, continuously in the first half, Beatty? Yeah. yeah. Did y'all do anything to kind of slow him down? Cause he, you know, I mean, you know, he's a, he's, a good, he's a really good player. He's got really – he's really explosive. And uh, they, uh, they had 104 net yards rushing, you know, probably a little less that, than they want because they usually are bound, like more balanced than that as well, but they were effective throwing the ball. So I'm not questioning them. They, they certainly moved the ball on us better than a lot of people lately and uh, kept us off balance. But it starts with their run game as well. You have to respect it. And uh, fortunately, we kept on getting some leads which probably led to them being a little more in the pass category, but it's not like we're stopping them all the time either. I mean, we, but I am proud of our defense. We we made some critical stops when we had to. This game has been kind of like that in the last yeah. few years. I mean, last year was kind of exception. You're sort of playing from behind a lot. And having yeah. to spray, you're, they were on that side. Uh, yeah. Right. Well, I would have liked to have gotten that field goal even at the end, you know, and, and like I talked about the one at the end of the half, we got to we can't we can't leave points on the on the field. I mean, we have a chance to what we score thirty five and uh should have been forty five, right? You know, and I mean we legitimately, you know, gotta gotta say, I mean, you know, as far as Liam's concerned in the offense to me, they they scored forty five. You know, they didn't, but they did they did a good enough job too. All right, folks, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it.